Hello everybody, welcome on back to another video. Now today, yes, we're doing something different than hit and run as a video. And what I thought I'd do, I know obviously it's come out in the new update of 1.15, is, as you can see in the background, the bees update. Now I've been having a little play around with this. I hope you guys enjoyed the trailer, which I played at the start of this video. And I just wanted to cover, really, some of the little basics you can get from this. Now as you guys will know, Hello little bee. These bees are, you know, they're, they're, they can be your friend at the minute, you know, they're not attacking you or anything like that. If you get yourself one thing I've noticed, I'm not too sure whether it works with an ordinary um, flower like this one, but you can... Do you like that? No, they don't. They do like the corn flower though. As you see here, if I get this, uh, this bee right here, click on him. Okay, maybe not you. Um, hello Mr. Bee, come here. I need to use you for an experiment. For, oh god. If I give me that, thank you. Come here. As you can see, he took it and he liked it. Now, if I had two of these cornflowers, I would be able to make them mate and be able to, uh, you know, create more bees. Now, with these bees, what they can do, as you saw, that little bee just disappeared. He went into the beehive right there. Now, with these bees, they can actually, when they create some of their honey, which they're doing right now here, is you'll be able to. Um, create more uh, of your your seeds. So if you put seeds around here, like um, you would, around like the sides of this, then these bees would actually speed up the amount of time it would take for you to, um, you know, grow out your crops, which I think is a really cool idea. It really brings in a new incentive to use um, bees in your world like that. They just came out of their, their hive right there. So yeah, actually what I thought I'd do is just make a little tiny video on these. Obviously, I've been running my worlds in 1.14, and I am considering, if I can get Optifine to work, is to currently move on to 1.15 when it comes to my hardcore survival world. And yeah, these bees I think would really come in handy, just, you know, spice up the world. I'm guessing they won't spawn as quickly as you would hope. As you can see, there's more of them popping in and out of these right here. But there, it's just, I think it's like a way of manufacturing your seeds a lot quicker than it would be waiting for it to do it by sunlight. So, yeah, that's just something I wanted to address. If you guys have any thoughts on the bees and things like that, then make sure you drop a little comment down below and let me know what you guys think about these lovely new bees. For me, personally, they've been out for about five days now. I really enjoy them. I think they look really goddamn cute and they're just a, a breath of fresh air when it comes to Minecraft, like to me. That looks like a mod more than anything. So, yeah, hopefully with Minecraft they decide they want to put in a new, uh, more new animals, more new mobs maybe and things like that to this world. You know, just to spice it up a little bit. But, yeah, let me know down in the comments, guys, what you guys think of these new bees update and where you think Minecraft is going to go next with everything. But, yeah, until then, guys, I hope you have a good old day. Uh, make sure to hit that subscribe button, hit that like button. And until next time, guys, I'll see you guys next time. But until then, peace.